Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So I don't know what to do with him, but I might be able to do something with him. So let's do some side quests. Congratulations on your big win at the comp. Thanks. I heard you could see shots that nobody else can. It got me thinking. Maybe there are holes that nobody else can see. What? Mm? I see two. With that in mind, I've gone ahead and designed a new course. Woo! I'm calling it Well Kempt Grove. <laughs> Let me know if you want to have a round. Sure! Mm, but first, let's see what you say. Okay. I was going to say, let's see what he has to say if I say no first. Alright. So we start at hole four. I call this one Green Keeper's Woe or Broken Links. Yes, because those poor, poor greens. Wow, that's uh, actually a pretty long shot for me. Um, go try and reduce my... Uh, you know, I really should actually change. Look at my iron distance between my woods. I really should change back to the irons that I was using before because my gapping is way off. Anyway, let's try that and hope that it will sit inside that holy area. Not quite. So I guess I'm going to have to land it a little bit further back than that in order to get it oh or not maybe that was not a part of the uh the challenge there oh well i got in there but that was not nearly hard enough for some reason this one's not so straightforward do, 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 do. whoa um well i suppose i could always bounce it off the cart path with a little, like li trying to land it on that tee box, I don't know. Eh, that should be fine over there. Just as long as I don't get myself in too much trouble after all. Yeah. I didn't quite make that, the tee box like I wanted to, but alas, alas, it is still doable. <laughs> okay, so maybe it's not an alas. It is more of a woohoo. All right, <laughs> let's try it over there and get that stinker in the hole, hopefully. Well, it's got to be in there sometime, some way. It doesn't have to be a chip in, I suppose. Whoa, that almost did not go in there. I hope the greenskeeper doesn't mind these tea markers. Yeah, it's going all the way over. Whoa. To where I got the bandana from. Um, well, well, that might actually work out fine. Just as long as I don't under hit. Oh, I nailed it. We could just go on the green, please. That would, that would be very much appreciated. Yes! Okay. We're looking good in this side quest. Aside from the slope, hope, which I hopefully will be able to pull off. Yeah! No more flag there, but there's still a stick, which is good enough. This is the perfect finish. It is. Oh, the island! <laughs> um... <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't think that's such a good idea to, hmm, I guess I could, no, I was going to say, I guess I got to try to land my ball on that little patch of land there, and then, but no, I don't think that'll be quite right. I'll try going back there, and hitting to the island. I suppose I could have just, I don't know, hit off and hit over the island, and then I would just end up dropping on the island and just taking two shots from there. I don't know. Just kind of thinking maybe too much like a ball conservative for my Titleist Pro V1s. <laughs> Let's go back to hit point mode. There we go. That hopefully won't go in the water. Yeah, it should be fine, actually. Well, two shots to go in. Yeah, I could probably putt that. Let's go for it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Two shots anyway, as I said. Yeah! What'd I get? <laughs> what an experience! To see my work through the eyes of another was a truly exhilarating. I always knew I was meant for greater things. I'm going to spread my work far and wide. Here's your winnings. The purse was quite low, and you were the only competitor. 
$15.40. Yeah! I think I'll head out to Lurker Valley and build a course there. So I guess this guy is going to go around and do courses like that all over the place. Probably, maybe. And I also notice that there's another little buoy here. So I, why'd you aim me over there? Well, I guess because there's a green there, but still. <laughs> I don't, yeah, there's another little buoy here. I wonder if that's uh, a part of that side quest that I learned about from the in the, in the cafe area. That didn't work out at all. <laughs> okay, now you're okay. Now you're putting me in the right area. I really overhit that sucker. Oh no! Well, I how did I underhit? Oh, the six yard range. I forgot about that. So I just gotta kind of. Gotta kinda hope that I get it. <laughs> well, I got that at least. Mm, I blew it up. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's a part of the quest, but yeah. Yeah, I blew it up. Um, I'm, I should go back over to that uh, soda bar actually to see what's up there uh, with that quest. Mm, yeah. Hi. Go to where the swans corrugate and seek out the vendor's crevice. Vendor's... I don't understand... I mean, maybe I'll understand it when I get to it. <laughs> I mean, like, when I actually see it. Because the swans obviously corrugate here, but... What do I do? Hit a ball into the vendor's crevice, as in the tickets booth? That would be kind of funny if it actually was this. <laughs> Let's just see for, for the heck of it. Eh, well... I hit into the window, but I don't think that was it. Hmm. Hmm. Unless they mean like the the vendor's crevice being like the um pro shop type place over to this over here. But I don't know. I don't know about it, there being a crevice there or anything like that. Unless I'm just supposed to hit a ball on top of the roof or something. I don't know. I guess I could try it. Yep. <laughs> Oh, I still gotta, yeah, I still gotta switch my clubs around. Uh, I don't know if my ball will even hold on that. Well, at the very least, I'll hit the building. <laughs> Woo! Uh, uh. <laughs> I feel like pink right now. Um, I saw you. Oh, you actually got a quest for me now. I saw you on a boat out there. You can use it to hit the island in the middle. Want to give it a go? Sure! Watch out, it's real windy out there. Well, at least I got this side quest, I suppose. <laughs> so we got that, at least. I don't know if this relates to the, the guy in the soda bar, but... Well, we're hitting balls to the island, which I tried doing before, but... Maybe he just, he just was not ready for that at that moment in time. Didn't have the dot dot dots. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was close. <laughs> um, oh, and I'm sure that that uh, the undead invasion, we have not seen the last of them. They'll come back sometime later on. Wow, I got it in. Uh, I guess that will be counted as a ball in the circle as, as well as in the hole, hopefully. Maybe, who knows with this game sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that counted, that for sure. Um, yeah, maybe a bit back more. There we go. That may be too much back. Well, let's see how it goes. Boop, 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 boop. Victory. But what do I get? What do I get? I knew this one boat would help. Woo! Yeah, I got a level up, that's for sure, and $12.50. I get myself some sausage rolls. Uh, I probably should improve that a little bit. Probably should. Oh god, my my stats are kind of they're starting to waver here. Uh, straighten that out a little bit, okay? Uh, you cause considerable damage to that swan bolt. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. Um, uh, I guess I'm gonna go back. See if there's anything different here. I don't think that was the same quest. Uh, no, it wasn't. And as sounds corrugate and seek out the vendor's crevice. Hmm. Maybe it's referring to, like, hitting a ball inside some sort of hidden hole of this ticket booth or something. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Because I just seen a little diggy thing at the bottom of the screen there, so I mashed. Hello. 
Mm, is this the vendor's crevice? Catcher's coin? It, it could very well be. Uh, okay, let's go back. We go back again for the third time. Did I do it? Is this what you were looking for? I found this strange coin behind the swan boat ticket booth. Not so loud. It's a catcher's coin. It's proof of your expertise as a catcher. Bring me five of them and you'll have my attention. Oh, really? So it appears as if we've started a whole thing. <laughs> but where do I find the other coins? Do I just kind of like dig in random spots around the area or something? Maybe it's wherever people pay. Like maybe it'll be... Um, remember at the driving range where I was kicking balls around like a madman? There could very well be coins to dig up underneath that area, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not seeing any digging spots here. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I should just go back to the pro shop then, since I'm kind of kind of at a loss as to where I'm supposed to do with that quest next. So, pro shop it is. Wait a second, wait a second. I'm lost, I'm lost. Oh, jeez. I don't know this game world that well yet. <laughs> at least, what, what, wasn't I supposed to go to the pro shop after I was done? With, yeah, like the com computer. Alright, let's see if I can get logged in. Ah, here we go. Password 1234. No one will hack that ever. Let's see what this video business is all about. Hmm? Hmm? Welcome to today's lesson. Are we in like virtual reality? Because we're in like pea green Game Boy mode here. Sorry about the video quality. <laughs> <laughs> Today we'll be taking, I mean, we'll typically talking shot height. By aiming higher or lower on the ball, you can change the trajectory of your shot. Yeah, I kind of played around with that a little bit. Hitting towards the bottom will send the ball higher. Yay! This can be useful for hitting over trees or stopping the ball faster, of course. However, a high shot is more susceptible to strong winds. I guess that's the lower shot. Nice shot! Hitting towards the top keeps the ball low. A lower trajectory means a ball will roll further, so use it to your advantage. I've used that shot in, in various uh, Mario Golfs when I was trying to do chippins, you know, a lower shot. Oh, it's pink! Wake up! Did you really fall asleep watching videos on the computer? <laughs> yes, I was ASMRing. <clears throat> I was hoping I'd be able to try that. The greenskeeper is looking for you. He's got some crazy new plan for something. Nah, I hope you don't take him seriously. <laughs> what were you watching on there anyway? A video about golf. Really? Let me take a look. Um, why isn't coach training you himself? I've had enough screen time for one day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess I was I was expecting to see her reaction to that or whatnot, but okay, greenskeeper probably by the green that he keeps around here somewhere probably mm -hmm. or in here. This could be very well where he will be too. All right, have you trained the moles well? Finally, you're back. I've been thinking about our grass problem. I figured the grass at Cheeky Beak Peak is simply magnificent. So all we need to do is follow their example. So we should go to... So all we have to do is entice a member to come here. Aww. <laughs> then we'll quiz them thoroughly about the course. How about we just sneak over there at night time. Just get one of those sod machines that scrape the ground of grass. Just... Right through the whole fairway. Bring that sod over to our course and plant it here. It's not any less shady than anything that Mr. Lucky is doing. <laughs> Get them to describe the terrain down to the very last detail. So it looks like we've unlocked a new area, I think. Why don't we just go to the course and inspect it ourselves? Are you crazy? They don't allow rival greenskeepers anywhere near that place. How would they know you're a greenskeeper? Of course. We will go to the course under the guise of playing golf, okay? I'll pose as your caddy and investigate while we are there. All right. Undercover operation. It's perfect. Meet me there immediately. Um, you're not going? 
Meet you at Cheeky Peek Peek. Okay. <laughs> so, aside from that coin side quest, and I don't think I can do that uh, driving range one. I might just have to go over to Cheeky Beak Peak. But let's give this one try because I've been increasing my drive distance really quick just to see if I can get any closer because it's possible that maybe I can uh, get there now maybe but I don't think so let's try um holy moly indeed oh, I keep forgetting to change my clubs around dang it uh, hit points over there Z -z -z. Let's go there and hope that I get enough rollout to make the green. Go ball, go! Go! Man, that's not even close. So it looks like I'm doing this again. <laughs> okay, so that's out. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so I just thought I would try it. I gotta get like maybe 20, 30 more yards on me to get that green. So that will probably require a bunch more level ups and maybe even late game or something like that for all I know. We'll see. So off to the overworld and we're going to see what Cheeky Beak Peak is somewhere around here. Bermuda Isles, my house. Let's see what's on TV really quick. <laughs> Welcome back to golf. The action continues, and it is as exciting as always. We are following Peter Parr here in the ninth. He looks like he's getting ready to hit. Looks like a seven iron. Might be a five. That's a pretty big difference. Hey, Peter! What are you hitting, mate? I've just been informed it's a wedge. Oh, that's a... Wow! How did you get it that bad? I mean, that's very far away from... Hey, Peter! Green slopes down! I drop it a bit short! Hey! I've now been informed of being removed from the course for a noise violation. This concludes today's coverage. Brought to you by Silent Trackers, the quietest shoe in golf. <laughs> the group ahead won't even know you're there. It's yours today. At I'm now being fined as well as being removed from the course. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I think I should check the TV every so often when I go out to the overworld. Uh, oh, this is the place. Oh, that's right, the crow, or whatever bird I had trouble with before, I, I could not do anything. Enter. Could I, is that like entering Cheeky Beak all the way from over there? It is, wow. Oh, it's the disc jockeys! <laughs> They've moved over here. So this is actually a disc golf course. Ooh, I know what I'm doing next, part. I'm going to be throwing discs into off the mountainside, probably, because I have not gotten the hang of that. Oh no, not these guys again. You. Uh, hi guys! Looks like you got some shiny new frisbees there. I mean, it looks like you got some new discs. We have indeed. We chanced up a shipment of rare material. I jumped at the chance and paid for all of it. These discs may not fly true, but they are impossibly dynamic. You've got lots. Uh, mind if I have one? The first thing I did was grade them, and they came up as expert level discs. If you want one, you'll have to show some mastery with the disc. Show me something and I'll vote for you. Show us each something and we'll give you one. Well, I'll show them something in the next part. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I show them something. They've probably got some sort of challenge in mind for me to do with my disky powers. And yes, yes, before I forget, check this out. Back to the well-worn irons. Just, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Perfection.